Law enforcement searched the home of a rape suspect in Green Township, and sources say it is directly related to a deadly fire that claimed three lives earlier this week in Youngstown. First News brought you those exclusive details first last night at 10. Today, police in Youngstown did not have much to say about the case. They told us they don't want anything to get in the way of the investigation. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti has been following this major local story and has the latest tonight. Robert Seaman's house in Green Township is quiet again this evening, and so are police and prosecutors handling the investigation of this week's fatal fire in Youngstown and its potential ties to a rape case. Last night, the driveway here off West Calla Road was filled with vehicles as investigators searched the home. We've learned YPD detectives, as well as Mahoning County Sheriff's deputies and agents with both the Ohio BCI and State Fire Marshal's office spent about four hours here, but at this point we're not sure what, if anything, was found. Sources tell me the search was related to the fire on Powers Way early Monday morning that claimed the lives of Bill and Judy Schmidt and their 10-year-old granddaughter, Corinne Gump. Seaman had been set to start trial that day, accused of sexually assaulting Corinne, beginning when she was just four years old. Last evening, I learned authorities discovered Seaman had burns on his face when he showed up in court. I'm told he tried to conceal them with makeup. Deputies took him to the hospital for treatment on Wednesday, but he is back in jail tonight where he's being held without bond. In the meantime, YPD's chief of detectives issued a written statement this morning calling this an ongoing investigation and authorities are not allowed to release any more information, adding coverage of the case is becoming a hindrance to the investigation as well as causing stress for the victim's family. Funeral services for the Schmitz and young Corinne will be this Monday. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. A candlelight vigil and fundraiser will be held Tuesday to help the family of Corinne Gump pay for her funeral expenses. The fundraiser will start Tuesday at 630 on Powers Way in front of the house where little Corinne died. The event includes a basket raffle and auction. An online fundraiser has also been started. At dusk, a prayer service and candlelight vigil are planned.